When you are teaching your students how to blend, it's uh, going to be important and necessary to put letters into groupings and then sound them out as their groupings, like z, a, z, a, p. I don't have better letters right now, so I'm just kind of doing this video ad hoc. Z, a, p, z, up, 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 because they're together. And uh, when you're doing this, uh, typically, regardless of what medium you use to uh, to illustrate these letters, your students are going to try and jump ahead and just give you the answer. Zop, zop, zop. I'm so smart. I know the word. I know the word. I know the word. I know the word, right? They're going to be interrupting you. You don't want that. Which is why I really like these foam squares because they link together physically. It's physical. It's tangible. That's something that the other medias, mediums just don't have. Uh, this is very clearly two letters together, which is now going to be soundable as a single thing. Up! And you can kind of have some fun when you put it together. Go z up, z up, or up, 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 and put it together. Go bang, 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 bang. If, if you do it in an animated way, they're, they're going to laugh. They're going to like that. And now you say it. Up, up, z, up, z, up, z, up, z, up, z, up, z, up. Z, up. And I, I don't know why exactly. I've tried many different mediums, many different approaches and techniques uh, with my students. Um, Using those foam squares stops them from jumping ahead. It ends that behavior in its tracks. It gives you back control of your class. It gives everybody else the chance to focus and learn without interruption. So I highly recommend it. Get yourself some foam squares. Sorry, this video was too long. I took a long time to express that simple concept and idea, but it is powerful, it's effective, it works, I've already proven it.